Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, as you can see here, the place that we are recording is unusual. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm moving out. And we will be having some new relocation vlogs soon. I've already packed my telephones. And probably we will have a video that I will be unpacking them and setting them up. Although I don't have any uh, thing to edit the videos of the telephones uh, because I packed everything up. But yeah, let's record this video now. This video is the thrift store find number four. And we have some interesting stuff here. First, we have this really old, really old, interestingly new vtec 2.4 2.4 gigahertz phone and uh, what's the model number mm, no model here hmm well, I don't know. It's some old 2.4 gigahertz phone. I, yeah, 2.4. I need to learn that. Uh, yeah, okay. So here's the handset first. It's new, actually. Like, there are no signs of wear. As you can see, it's new. Like, new, real new. Wait, and in the box we have everything, even the manual and stuff. It's all there. I think this was never used, or maybe it was used, but they didn't use it a lot. And this is the base. Interesting. There's no model number here. Oh, no, there is a model here. I don't know if you can see the model number. Yeah, well, I don't have my stuff here, so the lighting is bad, obviously. The model number is uh, 25, 2525. It's 2525. I think it's maybe a model older than the 2625. Yeah, okay. Let's grab the adapter. Everything's here, even the line power code and the power cord and the adapter. Oh, let's check the battery. I, okay, this one has the battery and it's plugged in, so it's probably empty. So we need to let this phone to charge. It also has a brick adapter. So let's plug this in. Does this work? Oh yeah, it does work. I don't know if you can see the light. It's flashing for some reason. In use charging, why is it flashing? Maybe it's saying that it doesn't charge, doesn't take a charge. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I guess uh doesn't take a charge. What does this flashing light mean? Let me even unplug the battery and see what happens. Does it still give me the flashy? No, it doesn't. Something's off. Maybe it's the indicator of the phone charging. Like it, like it's showing with the lights that it's that it's charging. Interesting. Never had, never seen that in my life. Okay, let's put this here to charge for now. 
Yeah, the light keeps doing that. For some reason, I don't know. Okay. Uh, next here, we have... Let me see what we have. We have a VTEC. I think most of the phones here are VTEC. Amazingly enough. Yeah, today's, today's find it's all VTEC. Let me just find the adapter. Oh yeah, it's here. Okay. Yeah. I also brought my PABX, so if you need to demonstrate the phones, we can. Hmm. We got an interesting model here that has link to cell or connect to cell. And the model is DS6321. Let's connect this to the wall. It also has this crazy, I think, ADSL adapter. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's plug this in. See if it works, please. Okay, yeah, it does. Time and day not set. You have no message. Base ringer is off. Base ringer is off. Hmm. Okay. This has one of these bigger screens which I like and I've never seen. Oh, this keeps turning off and on the backlighting. Calls will be answered. Calls will not be answered. Oh, by the way, good news. Uh, here we have a city light on the VTEC. Oh, I think we have it. Oh, no. No, we have a damaged display. Uh, this is, this is nuts. Hmm. Well, I think it can be fixed because the edge showed us the way of how to fix this. Basically, the phones like this have, like, they always the displays go faulty and stuff yeah okay let me grab a battery here this is this is really annoying i think i should also reveal my other phones too also i'm really apologizing for the bad quality of this video because I'm, i basically have nothing to record on i'm like i'm recording this temporary for you guys okay here we have the stuff. Okay, here is the third find. It's a VTEC phone with a crazy battery here. I don't know how this happened. Like, I don't know if the battery is corroded or it's just dirt, I, but it's, it's awful. Like, I don't know if I should turn this on. I'm so scared. I don't think corrosion could be this bad, like, hmm, interesting. Yeah, well, it's one of those cute VTEC phones. It sits so nice. Let's see the model number. It's T2326. It's a great phone. It's nice. It's basically similar to the VTEC CS6114. Which we also found it today. I have this phone. I have the Dash 11 version. This is the white version. I never owned the white one. We have a battery pack here, so I'm just gonna use the battery here for a second. For this phone. I don't want the phone backlighting to like jump away all the time. Hmm, interesting. The sockets are different. Or is it? Yeah, it's different. I don't know if we could find any sockets for this. Now the sockets are different. It's interesting. Now the job got harder. Okay, next year we also have a 
expansion handset for the unit and decked 1580 and it's new like as you can see no signs of wear like small signs of wear but new and it has the blue speaker button so i'm gonna make my unit and deck 1580 to have two handsets and also we got some additional adapters so this works this works let's see if we can get any juice in this one yeah okay Where's the menu, like the ringer? Okay, I can't really read anything. It says directory. Okay. It gave up. Yeah, basically the display is, the display has gone bad. Okay, this one doesn't have any battery, but it works. So let's unplug this one and Let's plug in the VTEC CS6114, which has a battery. Is it taking any charge? Yes, it does. Yeah, it's taking some charges. Okay, let's see this one. I really want to see how this works. Program. I can't see anything. How do you even... Yeah, never mind. The phone is giving up on us. Yeah. This phone, I'm too scared to test it. Like, I'm, I'm scared actually. I wish there was some place that we had more outlets. I just have one or two. Like, uh... I don't have my extension cord, so I have my PABX here, but like... We need an extension cord for that. Well, let's see the phones. I'm really eager to see what happens. Like, how would the phones react? Should I ch change the place of my recording? Because, like, there are no outlets nearby. Maybe I can. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Let me just figure something out. I think I figured something out because like here we also have a power outlet and maybe I might be able to bring the PABX close to this power wall. Okay, let me bring the PABX and the phones. I think one of the reasons that they got rid of this one was the display. The display has gone bad. So, yeah, let me plug in the PBX here. good thing about this PABX is that it doesn't really require an outside line, so it's easy for me to do what I think. This is the original wall cord, still unpacked. But now it's getting... 
unpacked by me. It's interesting how this phone was really like new in great condition, but like the display was is awful. Let's put this in. And let's bring a phone to plug it in there. Okay, which one should I bring? I'm really scared about the Let me bring the next 1580. Maybe there, there's a chance that we could also put the new handset. I just need to find the box of the unit and... Well, I did find the box. You're back in business. Alright. Here we have all the stuff. This is the base. And this is the handset. And... Hmm. This is the adapter. But this one's a noisy adapter. And also it doesn't work. Like, it does work, but I disconnected it while packing the phone up. Maybe because I bought the original adapter for this phone. Maybe we can use the original one. If we could do that, that's great. Okay, here's the original adapter that Unidem comes with. I never experienced the whole... Wait. Interesting. So the charger's adapter is different than the Uniden adapter, or is it the same? No, it's not. Let me check other adapters. Interesting. Let's see if one of these adapters works for now. So let's see the specifications. So this is a six volt. How much is this one? Hmm, 6.5 volts. One question, yeah, it does plug in. Is it a AC? Wait, how? How does this adapter do AC to AC? It's ridiculous. Nine volts AC. I think we usually use the DC ones. Outrageous. Yeah, it should be DC. Well, never mind it, I guess. I can't find a way to power the phone, or maybe I can. I can. Yeah, I think I can. Well, let's give this a try, you know. So, let's... Yeah, never mind, we can't. We really can't. The thing I just can do is that I can give the second handset or the new handset power so we can see how it functions. Interesting that the uh, cradle adapter is different than the original one. Okay, right here, yeah, it doesn't have the battery. Let me just give the battery from my 1580 to this one. So we can see how it works. Interestingly enough, uh, this phone was made in China and this one was made in Vietnam. It, it's not showing, but it was made in Vietnam. 
Maybe that's why the speaker phone button is different than the other one. Okay, let's see if this works now. So, I, I remember charging this battery. It's taking a charge, but it doesn't turn on. Maybe the battery itself is charging. Well, yeah, the answer was working, you know. The answer turned on while it was in charge without the battery. So that's a great sign and a great news. So I think this is a waste of time now. So the thing we can do is that just put the second handset also in the same box with the unit and phone. And then later, when I had my stuff, I can basically mm, pair the handsets together. Now let's, let's go to the other one. Let me take CS6114. Okay, here it is. Oh, maybe I should start with the Corroda V10. Well, I'm too scared. I'm scared about that because this V10 phone with the Corroda battery, we might have some like. Uh, maybe explosions later on. I don't exactly know about how is how this is gonna go. So for now, I'm just gonna plug in the CS six one one four, and I think we just yeah. Okay, yeah, never mind. Let's let's just plug this in. Uh, 